Nineteen years ago, it was a John Waters film. Then it was a Broadway musical. Now it's a movie musical giving new meaning to the phrase "she bangs." What did Baltimore ever do to deserve this? Don't ask me. Ask John Waters, who first teased moviegoers in 1988 with his tale of teenage angst starring Ricky Lake and Divine. Flash forward, and the shellac do belongs to newcomer Nikki Blonsky as Tracy Turnblad, a girl who just wants to have fun dancing up a storm on TV. People who are different, their time is coming. Playing Tracy, having a character that's so close to your heart and that you understand so well. Tracy feels like one of my best friends. <laughs> like she's like my imaginary friend. You know, it's kind of weird, but she is. She's somebody who I relate to. You know, her her message and her ideas and her thoughts. We share them. We have them in common. And what I love about Tracy is that she just does her thing and she just. Doesn't care what people think, and that's how I am. I mean, I just say what's on my mind, and I love having fun, and I just am who I am because that, at the end of the day, that's what makes me happy is that I live today to the fullest, and I did what made me happy today. Hey, Tracy, hey, baby, look at me. I'm the cutest chick that you ever did see. Hey, Tracy, hey, baby, look at us. Wait, is there a team to tap? Fabulous. Edna gives new meaning to TV. She's also a full-figured gal, and Edna doesn't much figure Tracy is being realistic about her chances of becoming a star. But Tracy is determined, and she's not about to give up, no matter how hard Mom tries to convince her otherwise. The actor S playing Mom knows a thing or two about convincing. If she looks like Vinny Barbarino in a dress after a Twinkie binge, surprise! It was magical because I didn't know if it was going to work or not. And when it all got done, I put a nightgown on. And I went in and I just smiled, this big cheesy smile that had seven layers of chin and big cheeks and all that. It, it just became Edna out of nowhere. She just suddenly lived. Welcome to the 60s was my favorite, favorite song and dance to do with John. I mean, the lyrics in it were so good. and. And it was weird for the first time hearing the playback and hearing, you know, me sing a line and then him sing a line. And I'm like, that's me on a soundtrack. Josh Rosa. Like, that's crazy. That's unbelievable. They look like mother and daughter. And the, and the, and the body, he has hips and a butt, you know what I mean? And breasts and, 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 and beautiful legs, like flawless. I'm like, dang, I need to get me some of those legs right here on my knees um but and he's moving and it was just kind of like a joy to see john travolta dancing again and singing and just you know being in this character uh so getting to work with him of course has been fun it was fun from day one it was fun in rehearsals you know it, he's john travolta for god's sake so you just want to see him do what he does might still hold some grudges they powder that cup but i screwed the judges those bras thought they'd win if i played they would spin in the while the shock value of John Travolta in drag alone is worth the price of admission, the real girls in this movie aren't exactly chopped liver. Check out this roster. Michelle Pfeiffer, Allison Janney, Queen Latifah, Amanda Bynes, and Brittany Snow co-star. That's a lot of A-list hair needing spray. Gee, there's so much energy coming off the screen at you and, and so many talented people singing and dancing and and having fun and just delicious characters and, and Michelle Pfeiffer is such an amazing villainess and um, it's just a, a hoot. It's a great summer movie for people to go take the whole family, go see and just enjoy. I love doing comedies. I think it's because I prefer to make people laugh and 
you know, I don't want to sit there and have people say, you know, look how beautiful you are, even though, of course, that's always, you know, nice here. But, like, it's like I want to make people laugh and, you know, be goofy. It's like uh, that to me is like the greatest joy in the world. This updated version of Hairspray includes songs from the New York show, as well as some original tunes penned expressly for the film. The movie comes from the producing team of Neil Marin and Craig Zayden, the folks that brought us a little Oscar winner called Chicago, so expect some nifty production value. Aside from the gee whiz golly numbers and the inherent comedy, this her suit hybrid takes a stab at social commentary from the roots up. But don't worry, it's okay if you don't want anything more than a coma. Hairspray is rated PG.